my name is Mpatso Jumbe. I am the owner and managing director of Mafe Dairy Farm. I've been a farmer full time for the last seven years. I'm quite passionate about it. I think it's the bedrock and foundation of our development as a country and I'm quite committed to taking part in it. Um, I think it's the duty and responsibility of every generation to contribute to development. So this is where I do my part. I can confidently claim that I am probably one of a few or only person, woman, who is running a dairy farm full time. I am there 100%. I don't work any other job. Um, my farm is also unique in that um, I do the whole value chain on the farm. So I do production up to uh, processing, up to marketing right on the farm. Um, and also, because of my experience as a dairy farmer, we have extremely poor extension services. And because of that, I have seen the necessity of skill on my farm. Um, I see that for every step, every stage of the value chain, or every, every activity that I'm doing on the farm, you require proper skills. So for example, people say, ah, you know, you just raise a dairy animal, you feed it and you milk it. There's a proper way to milk because your business as a farmer is the adder. So therefore you must know how to take care of the adder. So people think you can take anybody from the village, for example. A person who doesn't understand hygiene, a person who doesn't understand how to calculate like, how many liters of milk you're, you're, you're milking a day, um, will not be helpful to your, your business. So for me, I don't take that for granted, but unfortunately, that's our reality now. And because it's our reality now, I also take it upon myself to make sure that on my farm, I'm training people. And today's training was all about uh, feed and feeding and also disease control management. As you have seen, a dairy, farm, dairy farming is a, a big industry, so farmers need to know how they can preserve their feed or also how to make their own feed as a concentrate and other feeders. So this training was all about uh, making farmers know how to make feed and how to preserve feed. And on the other hand, we also had a, a training on disease control as you know, diseases are all over, so farmers should be aware of the diseases, how to control them and how to prevent. So this training was about these two topics. My pastor, I'm going to want to attend this one baby. You know what? We live in one Gaga, so we live in Wapafubia. We may only have to live in one Kwega. You know what? We live in one Zija. We may go to Sadira and don't make go to the Ofige body in the Murimi. Pamakalanchidoyambidi. <laughs> Usana ya mbeji na jiri jose ndu wena kumapunzi longati awa. Zika na kalazi kuti pindu lila kwa mbili alimi. Ndiye mapunzi la wawa ndu pindu la kwa mbili. Tapunzi la zambili. Tapunzi la kusama la kwa ngombe. Kudieta kwa ngombe. Komaso nga kare madenda. Amene dinga haone kwa ngombe. I've partnered with TVET, um, Luana, um, Michigan State University. I've also partnered with ILO. ILO is the one that's supporting the trainings right now. I'm developing my farm into a commercial learning hub. 
Well, dairy farm, farming is something that has great potential to create jobs for the youth. And uh, looking at the agenda of the government to create one million jobs, this is the field that uh, if government heavily invests in the rural sector by looking at these uh, various value chains, particularly the dairy sector and the horticulture sector, more jobs will be created within a short period of time. Joyamba in the end of Togoza, Amathe Farm, Okonza Makonza Meno, Chifuwa Azmaya Tukuno Akalagueta Monde, Komano Kanya Mapunzilo in Ariokso. Kodro Guti in the Niro Sangara Wambiri, Chifuwa Jokuti Azmaya Tu, Akalaguziwa, Chimina Guchita, Popeza Weta Monde, in the business. So, pano business is a very good thing to do with the people who are living in the world. The people who are living in the Uli ni umeneo, akupanga business meneo, china jiri chonsu chumechita avote adzi wakuna kuti ndeni kila kupanga mwantu wanji. So my vision is um, to develop a profitable farm that produces one of the best products in Malawi. If we produce the best products, it means that I'm also providing a very good market for farmers around me. So I'm um, creating my farm to be a dairy hub. So right now, immediately, in the short term, I'm focusing on Tonda EPA. I'm focusing on where I am. So there are about 600 female dairy farmers that I'm supporting, um, building their capacity. But also visioning is very important because if you don't have a vision as to where you're going, obviously, you're just playing at the activity, but you're not going anywhere. So I am developing my farm to be a center of excellence, um, to make sure that people, dairy farmers around me, are not just farming the way anybody can farm, but that we develop the best practices to do it, so that we produce high quality milk. That is a problem in our sector right now. So where MAFE is developing that for its own consumption, for its own development, but these skills will also go into other dairy farms and they will also go into processing in other uh, companies that are also processing. So my vision is to make sure that I build a long-lasting company, a company that will outlive me, a company that would have achieved what my father wanted to achieve, a company that would achieve what women should achieve and what young people should achieve. So for me, what I'm looking for now is supporting, support in building that center of excellence, support in building the capacity of my farm so that I could build a fantastic business that will support farmers around me.